Hi, welcome back to Bruno's Math Club. So this topic is finding percentages. So in this topic, we will be dealing with percents. So what is a percent? A percent is a number out of 100. Okay, so like for example, we say 5%. We mean 5 out of 100. Now, first we're going to be dealing with um, converting fractions into percents. Okay. So let's say that we have the example. 23 out of 50. So this is a fraction here, and we need to convert this into a percent. To convert a fraction into a percent, we need to always have the denominator as 100. But as you can see here, the denominator is 50. So to convert it into 100, we'll have to multiply. So 50 times 2 gives us 100. But remember that whatever we do to the denominator, we do the same thing to the numerator. So 23 times 2 gives us 46. So 46 out of 100, a number out of 100 is a percent. So 46 out of 100 is going to give us 46%. Okay, now let's say that we have the example 5 out of 10. So first thing we have to do is we have to make sure that the, the, uh, the denominator is 100 and obviously it's not. So we all also have to convert this into 100. So we know that 10 times 10 gives us 100. Okay, but remember, whatever you do to the denominator, we do the same to the numerator. So 5 times 10 gives us 50. And know that 50 out of 100 is going to be 50%. Okay, now let's do something else. Now we're going to be doing decimals to percents. Okay, so let's say that we have the example 0 0.46. 0 0.46 is a decimal, and we need to convert this into a percent. First, we're going to uh, convert a decimal to a fraction. Okay, so 4 is in the tenths place values, and 6 is in the hundredths place values. And what we need to do is we need to take the place value of the last number which is number 6. So we're going to be multiplying and dividing 46 by 0 0.46 by 100, okay? So 0 0.46 times 100 is going to be uh, 46 because we're going to be moving the decimal point two spaces to the right, okay? So that's going to give us 46 out of 100 and that's going to be our fraction now that we have a fraction now we need to convert this into a percent and you know that a number out of 100 is going to be a, a percent so 46 percent here we go now let's do another problem okay so now let's say that we have 0 0.002 okay uh, remember, we have to first make this into a fraction. So, let's look at the place value. So, this is in the tenths place value. This zero is in the tenths place value. This zero is in the hundredths place value. And this two is in the thousands place value, okay? And remember, we always have to take the um the place value of the last number, number two. So, now we're going to be multiplying dividing 0 0.002 by 1,000, okay? So, what we're, what we're gonna be doing is moving the decimal point three spaces to the right. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Um, I messed up over here, it's a 1,000, I put a 100. Okay, so as I was saying, we're gonna be moving the decimal point three spaces to the right and that will become two. Okay, so 2 out of 1,000. But again, remember that we have to, all, uh, we have to make sure that the, um, the, the, uh, the denominator is 100. So what we need to do is we need to divide um, 2 by 10. So we need to divide 2 by 10. So first let me just erase this over here so you guys don't get confused. I'm sorry. Okay, so... So we need to divide the 2 by 10, and we need to, again, divide 
the 1000 by 10 as well okay that gives us 0. Uh, uh, 0. 0.2 over 100 okay so that so now our new fraction is going to be 0. 0.2 out of 100 and that is going to be 0. 0.2 percent okay and so that's going to be our percent now let's do another example now let's say that we have 3% of 300, okay? So now we have 3% of 300. In order to do this part, what we need to do is we, we know that 3% of 300 is going to be 3 out of 300, 100, 3 out of 100, 3 out of 100. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 is going to give us 9, right? But that's going to be issue when we have bigger numbers. So an easier way to do this is going to be 3 out of 100 times 300. So we're going to be multiplying the, 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 the fraction by the total, okay, which is 300. So we can cut out the zeros over here. And that gives us our new problem, 3 over 1, or you can just say 3 times 3, and that's going to give us 9. Okay? So that's that for this video, Finding Percentages. Um, check out my videos at bronzesmaclub.com, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.